Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to a level one to power yoga class for weight loss. Let's get started. We're gonna come to the front end of our mats. Bring your feet parallel to each other. And let's lift the toes actively off the floor. Spread your toes wide open. This action allows for your arches to lift off the floor. We're activating the arches of the feet. And as we spread the toes as wide as we can, we're going to allow the toes to rest on the mat. Still lifting the arches. The action in the arches is still the same. We're just reinforcing that action by lifting the toes and then putting them back down, but now we know how to lift the arches, how to activate the arches. Great, now we have our foundation. We're gonna lift the kneecaps, activating the front of the legs, the quadriceps. We're gonna extend the ta tailbone slightly down, roll the shoulders back and down, and let your hands, fingertips hang heavy by your side. Relax your shoulders. Soften the face muscles. Relax the jaw. And begin to deepen your breath here. Take a nice deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose and lift. Feel a lift through the crown of the head. Exhale and feel the four corners of each foot sinking into the floor as you exhale. And again, inhale, lift and feel your chest opening here. Exhale, feet are sinking deeper into the mat. You're becoming more grounded and you're lifting, you're opening, you're expanding more. And let's inhale the hands all the way over the head. Lift. Exhale your hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Press the hands away from your back. Soften the front of the shoulder. Keep extending the tailbone down. Bend your knees slightly and bend forward. And you're going to look over to your left and to your right. Shake your head and make sure there's no tension in the back of your neck, in your jaw. Let's bring the chest parallel to the floor. Sit back, press the hips back, open the right shoulder up towards the ceiling. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Now. Take a pause and look down. Make sure your knees are still square here. Still keeping your hands behind you. I'm just demonstrating the knees are square so you're not misaligning your knees. And open. Back to center. Exhale over to the opposite side. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Back to center. Exhale the hands down on the floor, spread the fingers as wide open as you can, press your thumbs down, press the base of the thumb, the base of the index, and the space between the thumb and the index finger. Keep pressing it, and you're going to step back into plank. This is a foundation pose in power yoga. So plank is one of your main poses. It's your one of your top five most important poses. So you're gonna press your heels away from you. You're not on the tippy toes and bringing your feet forward. You're pressing back into your heels as if you're pressing onto a pedal with the heels. Press the heels away from you. Open the chest. Lift the kneecaps, tuck the tailbone. Pull the belly in. Slowly lower yourself onto your belly. Hands underneath. 
the shoulders. Inhale, elbows in, open cobra. Keep the elbows bending, pressing all five toes on each foot down. Exhale down. Tuck your toes under, power up your belly. You're going to stay on your knees and lift and press back into downward facing dog. You're going to walk in place, side to side, pressing the heels down. Breathe into the back of your leg here. And let's come into a steady downward facing dog. Shoulders are away from the ears. The triceps are rolling in. You can have your knees bent and press the tailbone as high as you can. Curving the lower back. Inhale the right leg up and come into one legged plank. Press your heel as high as you can without twisting your hips here, opening one hip, just press the heel straight up and let's press it five times, one, two, three, four and five, good, bring your knee into your chest and pull your knee into your chest, good, from here, step your right foot across from your body <coughs> and we're gonna hold plank here active foot and hold good from here roll onto your right hand inner edge of your left foot side plank lift the hips hips are on top of each other two more breaths in here and reach over your head Keep the belly in. We're activating the core. And hand on the floor. Step back into plank. And bring your knees on the floor. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Press the fingertips down and sit back resisting with your fingertips. You can bring your forehead down on the ground and feel the stretch all the way through your back. come back up and we're gonna come onto all fours hands underneath the shoulders bring the right hand fingertips pointing back at you make sure that all five fingers are on the ground and sit back you're gonna feel a stretch in your forearm come back out of this change sides spread the fingers wide open sit back press the fingers down keep pressing the base of the palm of your hand down good come back out of this spread the fingers open tuck your toes under downward facing dog and let's inhale the left leg up come into plank one-legged plank press the heel up and let's press it five times. One, two, keep the hips square. Three, four, and five. And we're gonna bring the knee into the chest and squeeze it as high as you can. And let's bring the foot across, outer edge of the left foot on the ground. Modified plank. And let's bring the inner edge of the right foot. Transition into side plank, making sure that your shoulder is exactly over your wrist. Lift your hips. Lift as high as you can. Keeping the hips on top of each other. And reach over your head.
One more breath. Bring both hands on the floor, back into the modified plank, and step back into plank. Press the heels away from you. Press back into downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step the right foot between your hands. Walk it. Bring your foot with your hand. Press the back heel away from you. And we're going to straighten the back. Look ahead of you. Pull the belly in. Use your core, come up, high lunge. Strong legs here, keep pressing the back heel away from you. Your legs are working, you're breathing. We're gonna clasp the hands and reach over to the right. Keep the tailbone tucked under and you're going to feel a stretch all the way down into your left hip flexor. Come back to center. And we're going to lower the left knee down five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Great, big breath in, exhale, hands on the floor, pull the belly in, power up the core, step it back, and we're going to go into our chaturanga, knees on the floor, belly in, when you lower down, you're going to make sure that your elbows are over your wrists, so you're going to come forward, and you're going to bring your arm all the way to parallel to the floor. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Let's go for our chaturanga. Good that place to practice your chaturanga. Good. And let's bring the tops of the feet on the floor. Take your first upward facing dog. Knees off the floor. Roll the shoulders back and away from the ears. And knees back on the floor. Second chaturanga. I said power yoga. And take the toes under. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Look between your hands. Step your left foot between the hands. Press the back heel away from you. Strong legs. Strong foundation. And we're going to keep the chest open, shoulders down, core come up, look down, make sure that your knee is pointing exactly directly forward and your toes are pointing forward, so your knee is not coming in, you want your knee to be over your ankle, very important, keep pressing the back heel away from you. Strong legs, sink a little deeper here. And you can clasp your hands and reach over to your left, keep the tailbone tucked under. Try to open the right shoulder up. Come back to center and let's lower the knee five times. One, two, three four and five, press the back heel away from your strong legs, big breath in and exhale your hands straight back all the way to the floor, belly in, strong core, step it back, knees on the floor, chaturanga and let's roll on top of the toes. Upward facing dog. And knees back on the floor. Chaturanga. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Good. 
back to your breath. Inhale the right leg up. Come into plank and bring your knee to your right elbow. One, two, three, four, and five. And press it all the way back into downward dog walk between your hands. And you're gonna round your back here, pull your knee as close to you as you can, bring your shoulders over your wrist, and step as far forward as you can. If this is as far as you can go, that's good. You're gonna bring your foot forward. If you can squeeze your foot a little further forward, that's also good, and you're gonna bring it between the hands. And press the back heel away from you. Strong lunge. Keep the left hand on the floor. Take the right hand up. Press the right hip back. Press the back heel straight up. Exhale. Look down and see if you can take your right hand, tap it off the floor so that you're using your legs here. You know that you're using your legs. You're not collapsing on that wrist. Good, let's bring the right hand on the right hip. And from here, you're going to roll onto the outer edge of the left foot and step your right foot maybe in front of the left. See how long you can hold this for side plank. You can reach over your head. Great. Bring both hands on the floor plank. Knees on the floor. Chaturanga. Upper facing dog. Knees off the floor. Back to Chaturanga. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, come into plank, and we're going to bring the knee into the left elbow, one, press the back heel away from you, two, three, four, and five. And press it all the way back. Look between your hands. Bring your knee into your chest. Round your back. And shift forward. Shift, 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 shift. Squeeze your knees as high as you can. This is core strength. And step it through. Press the back heel away from you. Keep pressing. Strong legs. And we're going to keep the right hand on the floor. And open the chest. Imagine that your hands are just reaching away from each other. Breathe. Keep pressing the back heel away from you and keep pressing the hip away from your shoulder. Very good. From here. The wrist is exactly underneath the shoulder, roll onto the outer edge of the right foot and step your left foot somewhere in front of the right. Lift your hips and make sure they're on top of each other and lift, make sure that your shoulder is exactly above your wrist. Every part of your body is working here. Keep lifting. If it's very difficult, you can step your left foot in front of you that will give you a little extra support here and work your way up do this class twice a week and work your way up to being able to hold it here and even at some point you will notice that you can hold it here where your feet are stacking on top of each other reach over your head 
and it will become effortless. You will be able to chit chat in this position, to hold a conversation. But so from here, walk down, take plank, knees on the floor, chaturanga, top of the feet on the floor, lift, upward facing dog. Amazing for your nervous system, amazing for your back. Tuck the tailbone under and extend the tailbone towards your heels. Knees on the floor. Chaturanga. And go back. Sit in child's pose. You can bring your hands by your heels. Palms of the hands facing up. And drop. Let your shoulders drop. Take a nice deep inhalation. And exhale completely. And again, inhale, and exhale, completely emptying the lungs. And let's inhale the hands over the head. Spread the fingers open, look ahead of you. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, tuck your toes under, and our favorite plank pose. Take the right leg up, and bring your knee, right knee into the, between your elbows and then touch your left wrist and back that's one let's see if we can do three or five more one two touch across three touch two more one And from here, just press all the way back. And downward facing dog. And you can extend your toes, flex your foot, extend your toes, flex your foot, extend your toes, flex your foot. Good. Over to the opposite side. Let's start with this. Extend your toes, flex your foot, extend your toes, spread them, flex the foot, extend them. Mm, good. All right. One legged plank. Knee between the elbows. Touch your left knee to your right elbow. One. One more time. Touch. Two. Three. If you can touch, that's your goal. Four. And five. With practice, I promise you. Eventually, step it back, you can get there. So knees on the ground, chaturanga, toes, top of the feet on the floor, upper dog. Knees on the floor, chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, Bring the back heel on the floor, spread the toes open, press into the outer edge of the back foot, look ahead of you, S straight back, come up, warrior one. And let's bring the hands over the heart, step the back foot a little further away from you, sink deeper, make sure your knees pointing directly forward, warrior two. Turn the right, the palm of the right hand up and walk the left hand down the left leg. Come back out of this, reach ahead of you, right elbow over the right knee and reach towards the front of the room, turn the left palm of your hand down. Really try to lengthen from your toes all the way into your fingertips. Lengthen the right side of your body as well. So try not to curve here, try to keep everything following along the same lines. Strong lines and twist your pinky in to face down. So we're turning down the pinky. And 
great. Look down, bring both hands on the floor, turn the back heel up towards the ceiling, and lower down, maybe onto your hands, maybe onto your forearms. It depends on your hip flexibility and hamstring flexibility. And take three nice deep inhalations, followed by complete exhalations. A great runner stretch. Here, alignment point is the knee, front knee is either above or behind the ankle. So you don't want to have the knee overlap. If you do notice that your knee is over your toes, then you're going to take your back foot and walk it away from you. Hey, baby. Okay, okay, go. Okay, go. All right, from here we're going to lift the back knee of the floor and we're gonna try an arm balance just the first stage of an arm balance I know this is level one so spread the fingers open bring your shoulder underneath your knee or your triceps underneath your knee and you're gonna spread the fingers open stay onto your toes and see if you can take this leg off the floor making sure that the knee is sticking on the triceps. Good, from here you're gonna bring the back knee on the floor and take a chaturanga. There you go, half an arm balance and back and step it back. That's a way to work towards this arm balance. The complete version of the arm balance I'll quickly demonstrate it so you know what you're working towards is this. and pressing back downward facing dog let's take the left leg up bring your knee into your chest step your foot between your hands bring the back heel down bend the left knee and come up warrior one facing forward Bring the hands over the heart. Open to warrior two. You're gonna take your left foot a little further back and sink a little deeper here. Turn the left palm of the hand up and walk the right leg down. Right hand, sorry. Walk the right hand down the right leg. Bring the pinky in. Deepen it. Coming out of this. Reach way ahead of you and lower the left elbow somewhere onto your left thigh. Keep opening the right hip up and reach forward turning the pinky in again look down and bring both hands on the floor bring the back heel up towards the ceiling and you can lower the knee on the floor lower your forearms on the floor or stay here if you're still here stay here eventually you will feel that your flexibility is improving and breathe breathe into the areas of tightness learn to consciously guide your awareness intention and breath into those areas and consciously consciously relax through your breath Shall we try an arm balance? Feel free to stay here. You don't have to try the arm balance, but if you want to work towards this arm balance, you're going to bring your triceps underneath your knee and try to lodge it in there, to keep it in there. Bring the back knee off the floor and take this 
leg off the floor. Well, now we're gonna bring the knee back down and take Chaturanga. And come back up and you can lift and press it back. And just walk in place here. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can in downward facing dog. And let's walk the hands back towards the feet and bend the knees, allow your wrists to wrap around your elbows, hanging here, keeping the upper back relaxed. Great, let's bring the hands on the shin bone, straighten your back and take chair pose, sit back. And we're gonna shift the weight onto the right leg and take the left leg in front of us. One legged like chair, making sure that the hips and the knees are in the same line, hold. One more breath. Bring it back down and change sides. Knees and hips square, sit back. And bring it back down, sit a little deeper in your chair. Hands on the floor somewhere in front of your feet. And we're gonna come onto the tippy toes and bring the knees as high onto the triceps as possible. From here, you're gonna shift forward and take one leg off the floor. If you are ready, you can take the other if you've practiced scroll pose. If not, keep taking one and then the other. And bring it back down and you can walk your hands in front of you. Press your heels back. Great. Coming out of this, we're going to come into seated. And extend your legs in front of you. Hands behind you, fingertips pointing back at you. Point your toes and lift your hips as high as you can. Hold here, reversing the plank, lower back down, inhale your hands up and exhale, folding forward, keep your back straight, you can bend your knees slightly lower down. One more breath in here. Straight back, coming back up. Exhale your hands by your hips, and we're gonna. We are going to bring the toes on the floor in front of us. Roll the shoulders back and down so that there is a uh, curve in your lower back. Sit back, press your hands in front of you, and reach over side to side. One, two, three four, keeping that lower back curve and the chest open, four more, one, two, three, four, back to center, take one leg off the floor, bring it back down, opposite, bring it back down, take one leg off the floor, and the other, good, and now, we're going to round the back and slowly lower down onto the floor. Bring your right knee into your chest and bring your forehead towards your knee and lay back down. And here we're going to bring the right hand on the floor and left knee comes across. come back up right leg on the floor left knee comes into the chest bring your forehead into your knee lower the head back down 
open the left hand on the floor and twist, look away from your knee. Inhale, coming back up. And we're gonna let the feet drop to the sides. Make yourself comfortable for Shavasana. Open the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And as you exhale, let your body drop heavy into the floor. Bringing your awareness back towards your breath. And just let everything else disappear. Stay here, present and aware of your breath, heavy. With each exhalation, feel your body becoming heavier, melting into the floor and letting everything around you disappear and dissolve while you become pure breath. Stay here for as long as you need to. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you.